Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today let's talk about Python object-oriented programming. Another topic in that is subtopic is encapsulation. What is encapsulation? We talked about class the other day. So now this is encapsulation. Encapsulation prevents from accessing accidentally or accessing uh, methods or some stuff inside the class accidentally. You don't want to access or you don't want uh, users to access. You don't want someone outside the class to access them. And you can prevent that by encapsulating them. So how do you do that? So let's uh, take out an example of my class here. So this is my class and I have a, my public method. I don't have a constructor here in our initiator uh, because I want to show just uh, what is encapsulation. So my public method is this self and publicly uh, accessible. That means outside the class, it's accessible. Whereas you have my private method and private methods always begin with this double underscore. They don't end with double underscore, but they only begin with double underscore. That's why it's uh, privately accessible at R accessible only inside the class so if i go ahead and let me go ahead and create an object here as uh, my class right and then i'll say and and i want to print r uh, obj dot my public method Okay, did I not run it? Okay, my class. All right, all right, okay. Okay, so public method is printing, right? So let me try to go ahead and print uh, the private method, what happens? So here, I will just copy this, control C, control V. It says my class object has no attribute, my <clears throat> double underscore my attribute, my private method but we have, we do have it right so of course it failed but if when you get this message let's say you don't know what's the class structure is you're trying to use it and you get this message if you really want to know what all inside is there in that class you just say directory and object you can explore like this so these are when you create a class by default they will these will be members of it. But the one that we are interested in is my public method. And here, let's go my class, double underscore my private method. So it is present. So if at all you want, now you know how to access it intentionally. Okay, so now we are intentionally accessing it not accidentally. So Python does provide that option for you. So you just say object dot the way it's listed here, right? So this is private. Uh, let's take another example here. Now I have defined class C. I have a constructor. It takes name and power as attributes. Self dot name equals name. Self dot double underscore power is power. So I have made it. So this is public because it doesn't begin with double underscore. It begins with double underscore, so it is private. Then I have define who, uh, a method, okay. So now it takes self dot name from this constructor, right? Uh, you have self dot name here, right? So it just prints it. Name is self dot name, power is self dot power. Then you have a private method here, which it says this is private method. And then you have public method here. It says uh, this is public method, right? And this public method prints the private method or runs the private method. Mm, let me go ahead and uh, create an object from this class C. So I have class C and the name, it expects an attribute name that is flash. Another attribute is power. So I've given here speed. So if I do object obj dot who shift enter it says name is flash power is speed because that's what who is designed to do inside this class now what if i do obj dot underscore private obviously it will fail because c object has no attribute 
done the double underscore private. What if I run public, uh, this one method here. So this is public method, this is private method. So members within the class, they can call or access anyone inside the class. So when I say private, it is tr uh, a private method for outsiders of the class. Someone who is an insider of the class, someone who is inside the class, they can access it. Um, so it is like, okay, so you, you have some private, let's say, I have some private information in office, but someone who is in the office, right, let's say someone which is, uh, or let's say confidential information, some IP information, uh, but whoever is an employee can access it, but whoever is not an employee, someone uh, outside the department or outside the office is not supposed to access it, right? Unless and until you tell uh, an insider to go ahead and access it and give it to me. So that's where it is. You're telling an insider, that is public method, to access this private information and give it to me. So that's what happened here, right? So now let me go ahead and take another example here. Okay, so big one. Let me, okay. Okay, so now we can, it fits the screen. Class JL, uh, team is Justice League. I have an um, initiator here name, power, age of the attributes. I have one private attribute, uh, it's light, it says light. And I have a method which says fights, and it takes another attribute location, returns that location says bad guys at that location. Is he retired? If the age is, a uh, given age is more than 108, it says true. Uh, change side, you wanna change them to light to dark, so that's what it will do. It's called setter function. Since you can't change this private attribute uh, from outside the class, you take help of someone who is inside and let them do it, right? So then you go ahead and want to access this private attribute, right? But you can't directly access it from outside the class. So you tell an insider, that is the method which side, to return that information. Then you have a private method, uh, help, right? So a private method function is something which is meant to be used by other members of the class, not outsiders. So this double underscore help will access uh, this particular attribute and says, hey, um, superhero, help me. Then you have call another public method that calls the that calls this particular private method. So let's go ahead and run that. First, let's create Superman as an object. So I want to print Superman name and age. Here we go, Bruce ninety nine. Now, if I say uh, Superman underscore side you will know that it will fail because this is a private attribute. So only a member of the class JL can access it, right? So what I will do here is I will check who can access this double underscore side. If I check the class here, okay, this guy change side um, can access it and which side can also access it. But I just wanna know which side is this particular superhero is. Superman is uh, on which side? Dark side or light side? So here we go, okay, he's light side. Then I, what I wanna do here is, let's say if I want to change it, change the side, I wanna make him dark, dark side, go to the dark side. And so then I will, I have set Superman dot double underscore side equals dark. If I access it, it says, still says light. So I can't change it from outside. So I will see who can change it from inside. Mm, change side, okay, this particular public method can change the attribute self dot underscore side. Okay, so I'm gonna use that change side, right? So here we go, Superman dot change side is dark. And now if I go ahead and print 
superman dot which side it says dark so it is clear that we just limited the access to attributes by prefixing double underscore to it the same can be done with methods right so let me change it to mark down here here we go so what if i do superman dot help i want to call superman for help so what do you think it will work so let's see mm, before running that we are going to go up here okay double underscore help what is it okay, this is a private method we are trying to run a private method from outside it will fail attribute jail object has no attribute blah 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 but if i then i will check who can call this private method for me there is a method called call that calls the private method help so let me run that here all right here we go hey bruce please help me all right so that's all i had for encapsulation thank you for tuning in and you have a great one take care